going on guys? Seth here. I'm not going to do much for this video. Just wanted to give you guys a look at my new sword. I can't tell you what it is or who makes it. Uh, because they're not ready for them to be publicly available yet. Um, it is T10. It is differentially hardened. It is folded. Uh, Japanese. It's either silk or cotton. I never can tell the difference. I believe it's silk. Uh, iron fittings, I believe. Um, one thing cool about it is the Yokote is really, it's real. If I can get a good shot of there. It is actual, you know, really geometric. It's not like cross polished or anything like that. Uh, it's hard to get it in this light, but there is hot or grain. Because it is a folded blade. Um, and you will see me doing some cutting with it. Probably tomorrow. I'm trying to get it. I don't really have a good setup for getting pictures of uh, of swords. <laughs> At least the, the blade. I mean, this comes out pretty clear. But this is light reflective. So, And I'm not the best uh, you know, photographer in the world. And I'm using my iPhone just so I can upload it right to YouTube. Saya, I really like Saya. It's ribbed, <laughs> ribbed for her pleasure. <laughs> uh, no comment. Um, I like that. There's no cheap, goofy, gold-looking Shitomi. Uh, however you say that word. Sagao is uh, very, very thick and high quality. I'm guessing it's some kind of Japanese cotton or something. But anyway, guys, uh, once these are made publicly available. Um, Go ahead and jump on one. They're gonna be really. They're gonna. They're gonna go quick. Uh, for those of you that already know what this is, you already know how to order them. Uh, it's not a Hanway or anything like that, or any kind of Mutoshi or Musashi or nothing. These are gonna be very rare in the next, uh, you know, upcoming months and years. So, if you know how to get in touch with the person that's selling these, go ahead and jump on them. I think my favorite part of this sword is the suba. You don't see many subas like this, and it's a classic pattern that you see in a lot of anime and samurai film. The um, pattern right here, and then you got the little cutouts, the axe. I guess that's a battle axe of some kind, or a hammer of some kind, like a I guess a blacksmith hammer. And the suba is really aged looking. Like it came like that. I didn't like age it or mark it up or anything. It came kind of scratched up I guess to give it that battle worn look um but yeah I love it I did strop it that's why my arm is bald right now <laughs> you can see my hand right here where I have hair like right there and then it goes up to my hand right here and it's like bald so you always know when I get a new blade in cause my arms are all the hair on my arms is all fucked up but yeah guys uh I love it if I had to guess on the weight, it's probably about two and a half pounds, so it's not a trick cutter. There is no fuller or bohe, or as some people don't want to call it a blood groove, which is not a blood groove. You know, there's a little bit of the hotter right there. <laughs> uh, there is no secondary bevel. Everyone keeps asking me. No, it's not. I tape off the blade from the edge back, so this part the polish doesn't change. The only thing you're seeing right here, this line is where the polish is different because a leather strop is going across the edge, uh, smoothing everything out so it cuts cleaner. That's it. I didn't grind this down with a low grit belt or anything like that. I didn't change the geometry. All I did was just uh, pretty much smooth out the factory, well, not factory edge, but the, the edge it, you know, it arrived with. But all in all, I'm very happy. And uh, that's all I got. You guys have a great one. Peace and Zen, my name.